Hello and welcome to Baiju's Career Scope by Baiju's Excel Masterclasses. And if you're new to the show, then let me tell you that at Baiju's Career Scope, we aim to introduce you to experts, leading experts from different fields and decode the different kinds of careers that maybe you could follow or if you're a parent watching, then maybe your child could follow in that domain. We're also going to talk about how your child can get there and what different experiences our expert has had while working in that field extensively. So I'm happy to share with you the expert for today. We have India's top doctor, Dr. Chandrakant Lahiriya with us here today in the studio. He has over 15 years of experience at WHO, at the World Bank and UNICEF. And he's very, very well known for his work on vaccines. So Dr. Lahiriya, welcome to Baiju's Career Scope. Thank you very much, Chetna Ji. So, Dr. Lahiriya, my first question to you is, we have students here perhaps who are passionate about the field of healthcare. Could you share with us a, a, a big picture on what are the sort of careers that they could look forward to if they were interested in healthcare? Two decades ago, there was only one choice. Everyone wanted to become a doctor and there were not that many options. But now, fortunately, things have changed for better. And now the career options in the field of healthcare beyond medical medicine or medical uh, services are fairly wide. So, of course, uh, all of us know that we can become a medical doctor or dentist or Ayurvedic phys- uh, practitioner. But in addition to these, there are three broader buckets which I would like to flag, okay. which can become a career option for those who, due to any reason, do not want to go or cannot go into a field of medicine. So, I would put this into paramedical field then we can say the clinical research and then health policy and public health. So these three broader areas are there, which are very similar. Like in a sense, of course, you, if you become a medical doctor, you see patient. But if you do not become a medical doctor, you can go in the these three fields and still make a lot of difference in the life of the people. Amazing. So now within medical, we are saying itne alag alag type ke careers. Hai. So it was lovely what you said, this medical, the medical field paramedical field, there's a research, clinical research field, and there is a policy uh, related to health. So would you tell us a little bit about the medical field first before we talk about the others? Well, so in medicine, as I say, like uh, we have an MBBS degree, you become a physician for uh, which treat human illnesses, and then one can follow or pursue further by uh, postgraduate degree of MD or uh, MS, Masters of Surgery, and then there is a a big field of super specialization, cardiologist, neurologist, that's for MBBS medicine. But then one can become dentist or uh, orthodontist by specialization. There are fields such as Ayush, Ayush medicines, which essentially means Ayurvedic, Yunani, Siddha, homeopathy. So those are also some of the fields which are uh, trusted by many millions of citizens and um, there are doctors in those areas. In addition, veterinary science is also there. Fantastic. Now, let's move on to the second category of paramedical that you said. Huge category. Within that, how would you explain you know, to the students what kind of jobs would there be and how they could get there? I would say that 20 years ago or 30 years ago, we usually used to hear about nursing courses. So, of course, BSc nursing through which one can become nurse. And one of the good developments in India is that earlier, a few decades ago, only female would become nurse. But now in India, in this generation, you would find a lot many male nurses. So this is our BSc nursing is an opportunity for boys and girls. But in addition to nursing courses, there are uh, physiotherapy courses, medical laboratory technician courses, optometricians courses. So there are a lot many courses. And what is happening in global level, and even in India, a lot many tasks which only doctors used to do earlier are being shifted to the nurses, laboratory technici- uh, technicians, radiologists. So this, there are plenty of opportunities and new facilities are coming, health sector is growing. So plenty of learning and job opportunities. So doctor, that was a nice sort of overview of the paramedical careers. And also, I think for one doctor, perhaps there would be multiple paramedical jobs available in terms of sheer opportunities for students in these fields so we talked about medical laboratory technician so the technicians are required in every diagnostic facility which is coming across similarly physiotherapist physiotherapists can have their own job uh, setups or our own uh, clinical setups 
but physiotherapists are required for many of the rehabilitation services orthopedicians uh, the doctors who treat uh, joints or bone fractures with them also physiotherapists are required so these jobs are coming in various sectors more importantly in india the importance of good health has been recognized so many healthcare facilities are coming up and for that there would be a real uh, growth uh, in health sector in the time ahead so the job oppor- opportunities are not only going to increase but the the payment or salary scale are also going to increase lovely fantastic now let's go on to the third category which is also your category of clinical research uh research sounds to me like a phd uh, kind of a field but but could you share with us what different kinds of skill sets can uh, join hands to do clinical research so medical sector thrives or survives or works upon a clinical research beats in the medicines or vaccines clinical research require a multidisciplinary team this team would be of the basic scientists virologists or phd holders in a different clinical streams but medical doctors with specialized degrees such as micro such as microbiology virology pathology are also required in this research so a clinical research not only increasing india is a pharmacy of the world like it supplies the drugs to 70% of the world population at low cost and then with covid-19 the vaccine research has leapfrogged by like a decade what could have happened in a decade or even longer happened in a period of one year or two year and these developments are going to further boost uh, and uh, the vaccine research or clinical research in general indian government is investing more funds on conducting research so this is really an exciting field it's, it was always exciting but it's going to really leap frog <laughs> okay fantastic i can see so many career options available we'll talk about the fourth category another very big category on policy on public policy public health policy so how would you chalk that out for students that category so public health policy is an old field but it has received a renewed attention recently there is a particular course called masters of public health now this course can be done by medical doctors but also anyone who has a paramedical or basic science degree if you uh, if you have that masters of public health you can pursue your career in public health in addition but in public health if someone has experience of working with the government and you understand policy and strategy you can work but this is a important field which only healthcare professional and when i say healthcare professional the medical doctors but paramedicals clinical researcher can do because they have a understanding of what makes a good health for a country or individual and that's why they are most suitable for uh public health policy fantastic i mean this is the world is open for you uh frankly when we were growing up there were not so many opportunities today you can you can be from one end of the spectrum to the other so doctor public health policy bahut interesting lagta hai mujhe because children feel ke jab tak hum doctor nahi banenge we can't impact society so you've had a lot of experience with public health policy to aapke experience se kuch bataiye jisse aapne personally impact create kiya hai through policy mere paas kai sare iske udaharan hain lekin filhal main baat karna chahunga india ki vaccine policy ki main 2008 mein who join kiya tha to usse pehle bharat mein sirf six vaccines ya six tikke bachchon ko lagaye jate the chhe और वो 1985 से 23 साल तक सिर्फ सिक्स एंटीजन लगाए जाते थे जबकि सारी दुनिया में कई और नए टीके आ गए थे फिर मैं सरकार के साथ मिलकर इंडिया नेशनल वैक्सीन पॉलिसी पर काम किया जो भारत की पहली और अभी तक एकमात्र नेशनल वैक्सीन पॉलिसी 2011 में आई उस पॉलिसी में कई सारे सुझाव दिए गए और बदलाव दिए गए उनकी वजह से जब हम आज बात कर रहे हैं तो भारत में 11 एंटीजन है लगभग डबल हो गया है जो वैक्सीन की संख्या है लगभग डबल हो गई है हम दुनिया के बराबर वैक्सीन लगाते हैं जो दुनिया के अन्य किसी देशों में लगती हैं साथ ही उस समय 2008 में करीब आधी आबादी को ही जो बच्चों की आबाद जो आबादी होती थी उसको सिर्फ आधी को ही सारे टीके मिलते थे फिफ्टी फुल इम्यूनाइजेशन कवरेज था 
आज वो 80 से पिचासी फीसदी पहुँच गया है अधिक से अधिक बच्चों को वैक्सीन मिल रहा है तो अगर हम दोनों चीज़ों को साथ में रख के देखें तो एक छोटी सी पॉलिसी बनाने से न केवल टीकों की संख्या बढ़ी बल्कि जो बच्चों को उनका फ़ायदा हो रहा है वो भी बढ़ा और अब मैं बड़े आत्मविश्वास से और संतुष्टि के साथ कह सकता हूँ कि हर साल कई हज़ार बच्चों की जान इन वैक्सीन्स की वजह से बचाई बचाई जा रही बचाई जा रही है हालांकि इसका सारा श्रेय देश की सरकार को जाना चाहिए लेकिन मैं बहुत सेटिस्फाइड फील करता हूँ बिकॉज आई वाज पार्ट ऑफ दिस प्रोसेस सो दैट्स अ पावर ऑफ पॉलिसी मेकिंग दैट वन सिंगल स्ट्रोक ऑफ डिसीजन मेकिंग कैन इन्फ्लुंस एंड बेनिफिट थाउजेंड्स ऑफ चिल्ड्रन एंड सेविंग लाइफ ऑफ चिल्ड्रन is the most satisfying experience what is that one piece of advice that you would think let's say there is a student from school high school uh looking at you and saying i want to be in this field what is that one thing you would like to say to them well i would give this advice to both students and parents i personally think uh, that when a student is in 8th standard 9th standard that time both parents and students should sit together and understand what a child need wish to follow and also parents should not force what they want their child to become but uh, it, this should be a dialogue between the parents and children so that's one approach i would suggest that's what my parents did with me and uh, that's why i'm advising this one but second thing when a student is for pursuing or following a certain course i would say that uh, they should put entire effort in that work and also keep looking for the various study material which are very suitable for them so students should keep looking for what is missing from their curriculum they should uh, seek a right kind of guidance and for 3 4 or 5 year which they are spending to prepare for medi- uh, any entrance exam give your 100% and then a good future will be await for you on that note students before we wind up the session i would like to say if you're in high school you've got science you've got math focus on the basics try to understand the concepts develop an interest try to shadow doctors like dr lahiria go up to people who you think are leaders in the field ask them what they do in their careers sit with them maybe follow them around do some internships if you can in the summer vacations uh try your hand at what you want to do in future and and find out whether that is really something for you and uh yeah so before we end we've got all of this by the way in a pdf and we're going to put a link for you at the bottom so you can download all the pieces of information that we discussed today we've also put together a list of videos for you to see and uh, you know maybe some of them could be about the concept some of them could be about careers but they are certainly going to open your mind to the field of healthcare so those links are also given below links to certain videos and uh, on that note uh, thank you doctor thank you so much for being with us and sharing your wisdom thank you very much and best wishes and wish you all the best and i'm looking forward to seeing all of you as healthcare professionals one day and god bless and keep excelling